Okay, we're gonna use the Rolling Two Dice applet to complete parts A through D. So use the applet to roll the dice 25 times, uh, clicking five runs five times. So let me go and open the applet. You can go to the straight to stack crunch, but they have it here. Probably easier is to click that. Here is the applet, and it says to click five runs five times. So let's just go ahead and do that. So I am rolling two dice and just summing up those numbers. I'm sure you guys have rolled dice before in various games. I'm up to 15. And then let's go up to 25 one more time. Okay. Be sure outcomes is selected. It is. Make sure this is gray. In the pull-down menu, above outcomes and convenience or convergence, make sure equals is selected and seven. So what proportion of the 25 rolls resulted in a seven? Choose the closest value below. So I got 0.16. So what's the closest value here? Mine's 0.17. Check answer. So about 17%. Okay, click reset and then use the applet to roll two dice 25 times by clicking five runs five times. I guess it looks like we're gonna do this again. So press reset and then press five runs five more times. Last time. Be sure outcomes is selected. We did that. Verify it's highlighted in gray. We did that. Pull down menu. It's going to be equals and seven. So we have everything left the same right here. What proportion of the rolls resulted in a seven? Was it the proportion, was the proportion the same as it was in part A? Well, here it's 0.28. I think last time I had 0.16, so it was not the same. Are not likely the same because the outcomes have been determined on the outcome. They're probably different. No, that doesn't make sense. They have not been determined. So how about the next one? The proportion in parts A and B are likely not the same because the simulations in part A and B involve two different random processes with different outcomes. That sounds very plausible. Let's see what this third one is. The proportions are not likely to be the same because it would actually be impossible. No, not impossible. It's just unlikely. So, part B. Now click Reset. Click Convergence, and it should now be gray. Uh, use the applet to roll two dice 5,000 times by clicking 1,000 runs five times. So let me go ahead and get that started. And do Reset click Convergence, and now we're gonna run this. Oh, good, I don't have to watch it do it a thousand times, so we're doing it 5,000 times. Here we have a total of 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Here's our proportion. I'm not sure what it's gonna ask for. Let's take a look. What proportion of the 5,000 rolls results in a seven? Choose the closest value below. Well, 0.1786 is what I got. So that's the closest one from this set is 0.17. So look at the graph from part C carefully. Was the player rolling more sevens than would be expected in a short run, such as part A or B? Explain your answer. Okay, so let's look at this right here. Okay, so here's my probability of rolling a seven. We see it's converging to a particular number at 0.17. Okay, so was the player rolling more sevens than would be expected in the short run, such as in part A or B? No, the player was not rolling more sevens 
When a fair die is thrown, each of the possible outcomes are equally likely. It just happens that the event of rolling seven could be observed. More outcomes than anybody. Yes, that one sounds good. Okay. So I hope that helps.